Hello, it is Yang, and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show you a, a quick tip on Mastercam that how we can import the digitizing data from external file to Mastercam and use them for modeling work. Okay. First, uh, you can take a look on the digitizing file I have here. You can see um, normally they come from the probing or the scanning process, which can give us the uh, the data, the data of uh, an element is normally surface. So when we have this file, it can come in uh, different kind of format. Uh, you can see it can be a text file or it can be a file without any format or it can be a CSV file. Yeah. So uh, I try to open this file to see what inside, and you can see too. Okay. I open the text file first. You can see the text file txt here, and looks what inside it. You can easily see, um, you see a lot of point with many line and x line here is a, a coordinate of a point. You can see this is the x, y, and z coordinate, and they are separate with uh, a space. So this is a text file. Very simple. A lot of line with coordinates. Okay, so that is a text file, and we come to the next one, the CSV. Okay, I can open it with a a sheet app, the Excel here. Yeah, um, it's come into uh, multiple row and column, and you can see. Uh, beside the coordinate, it can it come with the second number. Okay, you can see there's a lot of point here. Yeah, it's a lot of big file. And next to the second number, we can see uh, yeah the same with coordinate x, y, and z of the point. Yeah. So this is the CSV uh, data, and the last one. This is a file without any format, so to open it, uh, normally I use the, the text editor to open it, like the notepad here. You can use this one, a very powerful tool, and you can track and drop and see what is inside. Okay, so uh, when I open it, um, you can see similar with X, Y, and Z. Yeah, and next to it, we have some uh, like description and when you look 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 into this you can see uh, no I think this file is come from a probing process with some parameter like the step the scanning step here and some uh, you can see the clearing uh, the angle of the rotary axis on the machine the WCS the mm, yeah the feed rate and if you look down here you can see some movement code like G code like G1 with the F function so this is like a, a, a scanning program and it so also come with the X Y and Z so this is another type of uh, digitizing file yeah and it's end with a common yeah it, it moved to a new new scanning line okay so you can see most of them contain the coordinate of many points. Okay, so Mastercam allow us to open this kind of file, but with the file without any format. So if you want to open it in Mastercam, you need to do an another step that um, click on it, and you can input um, .txt to make it a text file so Mastercam can open it. If you don't add the, uh, I don't know how to call it, the format here, um, Mastercam can, can find it. Okay. So we change it to a text format. Okay. Now we go to the Mastercam and try to open them. For, to open, you just go to the file menu here and select merge. Okay. And we try with the text file first click on this so in the file type um, 
menu here you can select I don't know how to spell it A S C uh, A S C Y uh, S C five you can see text and C S V click on this and then uh, there's another option here click on this you can see you can select the uh, how we how do you want to import the the date the data you can import at point okay I try with the point option first and see open yeah you can see that we just import the the text file with the point option You don't, if you don't want to get a mess you can try change the point style here okay so this is the point option I want to change change to level 1 so okay put them in level 1 this is the point option you can see we import the point from the text file okay I do the same uh, mark again but this time instead of point I select the line option and see what what different okay we, we select the same file with last time and open it hey you can see now we don't have point we have um, a list of curve here look like the section curve you can see must when we select the line um, oh sorry where is it? When we select the line option, yeah, master can connect the point with the line. I can uh, make a point bigger so you can see. Okay. So you can see that master can connect the point with the line here, <laughs> and that's we was the line option. Okay, so we get this number four. Level number four is the line you can see, and we can do again the same step, but this time we select the spline option. So, and this file again, <laughs> yeah, we have a new level. This level five, and you can see instead of uh, a list of line, we have. The master can convert them to spline and it looks smoother. Smoother. Yeah. It's the line and as the spline. I think the spline is the best option for this. And you can see we have a, a lot of section curve here and we can use this to um, create a surface. Okay, I tried it. I tried to create a surface with a loft option. Okay, try with the line first. Number four activated. Love. You have to be careful with the, the line here. Yeah. Yeah, it's it look not so good, right? We have a lot of point and this is not a good option to create a surface. So I change to the spline. You can see here this is the spline and we do the same with the loft option you have to take care of the direction of the curve you want them the same direction when you create a surface okay and we done so it's quite easy right you can create a surface from the curve import from the, the text file okay let's select the surface here and show that yeah there's some imperfection on the surface but it look quite good maybe the, the step of the prop is uh, not fine enough so we have some best surface section here but it look okay we can do some modification to the section curve to get a better surface Okay, but this is another story. Okay, so um, this is the text file. We try with another one. 
Merc and the dropping reserve file here. Open. Easy, yeah. I think this one is from another unit, so it look big like this. <laughs> yeah. This is the last surface, and this is the new one. Maybe different unit, so it's much bigger. Okay, we do the same. You can see it's it uh, is not a uh, closed curve. We can do some modification. I just leave it like this. You 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 you. You you. That's a lot of curve. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can see. It's it uh not look not cool but that's how we do this either yeah this is the surface of the port I think okay and when you have the curve you can do many other things like do some modification to the curve or to the surface or you want to uh, modify it a little bit like make it bigger as some section like this I can do some for you so you can see uh, I remove this surface yeah um, you can see the curve here, we can do some modify, okay, for example, we'll make it a little bigger, uh, edit with this option, yeah, you can make it crazy like this, yeah, make it big a little bit in this section, yeah, you can do anything you want. Modify the curve, the section curve, and we also connect these curves so it's um is a closed. Can you the plane, spline plane, and connect them together? Okay. It it will take time, but you can do it. Just do uh, some curves so you can see. I will not do all because it takes very long. Okay, we just connect the curve here and we can do a loft surface again. Ooh, remember the start point, you don't want to. There should be synchronized. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you can see, we can do some modification to the curve to make a, a different section, difference in the section and we can also uh, make them close, so the surface is close too. Okay, so I just show you uh, the tip how we can import the digitizing data to Mastercam and use them to create some nice surfaces. So I hope you can do it to make some cool stuff. And that's all for today. Uh, Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.